okay so um right now we're using i'm going to try to explain you fseek okay and what does it do okay because that's a um, that's a function that is going to be used a uh, a lot of times and it really need you really need to understand what it does okay and it's kind of difficult to understand and um, if you don't know about binary files of every or every then you need to watch the previous video which is called um i don't know what it's called but you know just go and look for it in my channel because that really explains everything about those two functions and you really need to understand what they do and how they work in order to understand fseek okay so uh, if you watch my previous videos you'll know that i have I have a file called numsbin which has a thousand integers okay so those a thousand integers don't have a space in between okay those are the integers but that's just the way I'm displaying them just to make it make them easy to look at okay it's just basically appealing but they are a thousand integers from zero to nine what's good about this well there's nothing good about this then uh, we're just gonna tr we're just gonna try to handle um a few things okay so let's say for example I asked you okay how do you um let's say for example we want to change this number here or I want to change this number here without affecting any other number uh, in this file how do we do this well that's a good question because we actually can't well we can do it using different functions but we can't just use f right and just hope for the best because that's going to change the entire thing so we need to know a few things okay the first one is how are we going to open the file okay i suppose you've seen this already because you've been looking at my code but um a way to open a file the file we want to read and change or write into it we need to give it r plus and this is the binary file so it's going to be r b plus um what this a uh, type of permission it gives you permission that it's going to write into a uh, without affecting anything so it's going to write and read okay so you're going to be able to read on this and you're going to be able to write as well on this without changing any file okay because uh, if you use for example w here wb plus or w just wb um uh, the file is going to restart everything's going to be erased and you're going to start from the very beginning again so there's not going to be any digits here and what we want is not just to delete everything we want to for example change this one here okay um uh, another thing I want to say is that if we want to change this nine here, that's not the fourth number. One, two, three, four. No, it actually isn't because we used the we're using the we're starting from the index zero. So it's gonna be zero, one, two, three. Okay. So that, we're gonna call that a third, even though it's the, for us human would be the fourth, but we're using zero index here. So that's gonna be the third. So let's say for example we want to change that nine one to zero. How do we do it? Okay, well that's gonna be funny. Well, it's not. Well, it's not like it's gonna be sunny, uh, funny. But um, but um, it's gonna take a little bit. Okay. So as you know, um, files, binary files are written in binary code, which is zeros and ones, and each one of them are just little blocks. Okay. We can call that, even though it's not really true, we can call that little blocks of memory. Okay. So as I said before, I explained in the video what F writes and F read does and how they actually behave and how they work. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to need to open a file with those conditions, RB+. We're going to have to check if the file is null, okay? Because in this case, this file is not going to be created if it doesn't exist. So we need to check if it does exist. And if it if it doesn't exist, it's just going to print some and it's going to go and it's just going to return zero and the function will be ended. But if the file does exist, and I just hope it does exist, we're going to say, okay, we want to change that number to zero, do we? Third digit. Okay, so we're going to call that zero. And we're going to use fseek. What does fseek do, do? Okay, well, what does what fseek does is, um, well, okay, so basically I'm going to try to explain this with an analogy um, of a keys in a class. So um, when you were younger, I suppose well I, when I was I used to just read let's say I'm trying to read these numbers imagine the cursor is my finger I'll be just pointing where I'm reading I'm just like just trying to underline with my finger 
what I'm reading so I wouldn't get lost. So I would just go one, two, two, nine, four, one. You know, I'll put it under, underneath just to not get lost, okay? Uh, for example, when a teacher tells you to stop, you're reading for an entire class and says, okay, can you tell us what that means? You are here, okay? And, say, oh, and you say, oh, this means blah, blah, blah. And they say, okay, you can keep, you can continue reading. Then the kid is going to look back at the paper, it's going to look back at the sheet or book or whatever, and it's going to keep, it's going to look where the finger is, and it's going to keep reading where he left off. So where the finger is pointing at, okay? So that's basically how the file, how the, how this is working, okay? This is going to point as little blocks of binary files, okay? Even though you can see here numbers, but they're actually zeros and one. That's just the way it's translated into digits. It's going to go... It's gonna point at little blocks and um and it's kind of like addresses of memory, even though it isn't. And it's just gonna say, okay, well, um, in this case, for example, we're trying to point at this one, which is number three, as we said before. And it's gonna go, okay, we, and instead of starting from here, it will say, okay, I want you to change that to zero. You know, it wouldn't tell him to change the location th three. It's just gonna change the first one, you know. But we don't want to change the first one. We don't. We want to change the a third one well that's zero one okay so let's just say well let's just call that a fourth even though it's a third okay but that's just for the sake of vision let's just call it a fourth and um, we want to change the fourth one okay so we want the program to just skip these numbers and just go straight to the fourth location and say okay now now you're pointing at that now do whatever i tell you to do right after so now it's pointing at that number isn't it so now we can manage and we can change that number read it, um, convert it into whatever we want, to float or whatever the fuck we want, okay? So, um, basically, uh, that's what FSIC is doing for us, okay? FSIC is just keeping track of where we're reading and it's going to give us a location, okay? So, basically, in this case, we're going to say that R is equal to zero because we want to change that to zero. And I want to say FSIC, okay? FSIC takes four, um, three arguments. It takes the five we're going to read we're reading from. It takes... The amount of size in bytes, I'm going to spend that now in a, in a minute, in bytes that you want to uh, point at. And then uh, another argument which takes, uh, which could be three different uh, things. Um, sex seat, okay, six set, sorry about that. Um, it means, okay, I want you to read three, I want you to read, and it, let's just say for a second, I'll explain that in a second, okay, but let's just say three from the very start, six set it starts counts how many what size you want to read from the very start. So okay, so it's gonna say okay, I I'm gonna point out here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, boom. This one here, okay, that's it, okay. That's what he's doing, okay. Second one, you could be set a end, seek end, and that's just gonna do instead of starting from the beginning, it's gonna start from the very for from the very end. It's the exact same. And sick core is basically where you left off. Okay, so imagine you want to edit every two, every three numbers. So you want to edit, well, every four, okay? You want to change this one, you want to change this one, you want to change this one. Well, um, that what does that. That's what it, it does, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna keep track where you left off and it's gonna add, this is the offset, if you want to call it that way. It's gonna add that offset to the next time and to the next time, okay? So you want to read three by three, it would be this one. It'll be this one, it'll be this one, if you want, if you put sick core, okay? Because we're going to keep track where you left off. And coming back to this parameter here, or argument, uh, we need to give him the amount of bytes, okay? Because this doesn't read integers, it's a binary file, it reads binary codes, binary numbers, zeros and one, and ones. So what this means is that we need to give him the amount of bytes, is the off is the offset okay? So to do that again, I explain that in F right kind of briefly. What it does is that we just we want to change the third one, which is the fourth one here, but it's one is zero one two three, by the size of an integer, okay? Because they're all integers, so we want we, it, an integer is four bytes, isn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure it is. So what we want is we want to a three by four is twelve, so we want to go to the twelve bytes. And then point at it, okay? That's basically what this program is doing, okay? I want you to go to the 12th voice and just point at it. And now, um, that's done. 
and he's gonna go to the next line. I'm gonna do okay now f right, and he's gonna write the number. I explained f right before, so if you don't understand it, go to the videos, and he's gonna write the number zero into that location. Okay, and that's what it's basically doing. Okay, this program it is gonna work. Okay, and if you want to be contested, um, if it makes you happy, okay, where that I just run it. Now I'm gonna compile the thing to read it. And now, as you can see here, look at that. Instead of a nine, okay, nine here, there is a zero. Okay, so it did work. What is the problem with this code? Well, the problem with this code is that just imagine you have a massive database with usernames and passwords, okay? Uh, let's say you want to change the password of a user. So you want to, and imagine everything on here is a password for every single user. So that's a password for one user, password for second user, password for third user. And you want to change the password of the third of the fourth user. Okay, you want to change the password here to zero. That's going to be his password. Well, imagine the program for some reason messes up and the function fseek just say, oh, wait, I'm lost. Uh, I'm not running properly. Okay, I'm not going to... and. I'm not going to function anymore and it's not going to point to this, okay? Well, this is not going to return any value. You got to say, okay, I pointed it, even though I didn't point at it because it didn't work properly. And it's going to write. So imagine we were here, it's going to change the password to the first user to zero, not the fourth one. So, and that'll be a big problem. So how can we check if it's pointed at it or not? Well, fsig has a function, right? It doesn't have a function. fsig is a function that... If it does, if it works properly, it's going to return a value. And what value is it going to return? Well, it's going to return zero. So if fsig worked as we wanted it to work, it's going to return the value zero. So now we can check if fsig is equal to zero. And if it does return equal to zero, it means that it was pointed at it, and it means that we can write we can do this function. If it doesn't work, well, we're going to have to tell the user, well, if that's the problem, else, we're going to have to tell the user, here, user. Well, then, here, user. Sorry, I didn't spell that right. Um, couldn't um, do it, okay? And couldn't do it. And now, if it doesn't work, well, we're not going to change the password for another user because we've been fucking over loss. We're just going to tell the, the user here, sorry, I couldn't do it. Fuck you. And that's it, okay? So it's, it's as easy as that. And also, we're going to close the file afterwards and we're going to return here for the main function, okay? So um, that's just about it, okay? So that's just the way to go. Um, the other little thing I want to say is that uh, sometimes uh, for X reasons, you want to read the file all over again, and you're like, well, do I have to like, a uh, copy and paste all the time, or do I need to do one thing or the other? Well, that's just easy. If you want to just start pointing, what you need to do to re to go back to the very top is basically instead of just here, you're just gonna put zero, and it's gonna go to zero to the very start the first byte and it's gonna restart again okay so that'd be the way to go if you want to restart all over again um if you don't want to write all that much code which is not much there's a function called rewind what this function does is that it's gonna take one argument which is the file and it's gonna rewind us basically it's just gonna go to the very top to the very start and it's gonna restart again problem with this function it does, doesn't return any value back so you can't check if it actually worked or not. So it's not recommended to use this. Okay, because you can't really check it. And you have to be really careful because, you know, again, if you want to change the password from the first user, you use rewind. And if it doesn't work, well, you don't know if it works or not. And then you're going to change the password of another user. So you don't really want that, do you? So, um, okay, that's just about it, okay? So thanks for watching, I suppose. And I hope it helped you a little bit. Even just a little bit. Anyway, au revoir.